There's a really important construct we can do if we start with an integral domain. We can create a field, which we'll call the field of quotients of that integral domain, that contains a subring that's isomorphic to that integral domain. First off, just before we get into the details, remember that an integral domain is something that doesn't have any zero divisors. The whole idea of this is very much like constructing the rational numbers out of the integers. So let's remember how that works. If you've got the integers, that's actually an integral domain because it doesn't have any zero divisors and it's a ring. And what we did was we said, we're going to take the set of all things a over b such that a and b are in the integers and b is not equal to zero. And then we created some equivalence classes. We said that a over b equals c over d whenever a times d equals b times c. We're going to basically do the exact same thing, only in general, we're going to start with a ring. So we start with our integral domain, and we're going to go ahead and say S is the set of all ordered pairs A and B such that A and B are in our integral domain D and B is not the zero of that integral domain. We're then going to go ahead and say that we're going to create equivalence classes we're going to say that two elements, A, B, and C, D, we're not going to actually call them equal. We're going to say they're equivalent whenever, same exact thing as we did for the integers, whenever A times D is equal to B times C. Then we need to define our ring operations here. We're going to say that A, B times C, D is going to be kind of the obvious thing. We're going to say A times C, B times D. And it's worth noting that right here is where the fact that we need an integral domain comes in. If we didn't have an integral domain, BD could be zero, and this wouldn't be a closed operation. So we need that to guarantee that this is actually well-defined. Now further, and a little bit harder, what about AB plus CD? And again, to sort of justify what we're doing, let's think about how it works for rationals. For rationals, if you take A over B plus C over D, you need a common denominator, BD. And so here we need to multiply by D. And here we need to multiply by B. And so I'm going to do the same kind of thing here. To define this thing, we're going to say we've got AD plus BC comma BD. Now, to really show that this thing works, we should go through and show that these things are all well defined. But really, once again, if you translate it over and think about how it works for rational numbers, it just works exactly the same way no matter what my integral domain is. Okay, so we've created this thing. So is it, in fact, a field? Well, it's got an addition, it's got a multiplication, so we've got those operations. Does it have a unity? Well, 
because d is an integral domain, one of the other things that it had to do was that d had to have a unity. And so if I say 1 is the unity of d, then 1 comma 1 is the unity of s. The other thing we need for a field is that we need to be sure that we have multiplicative inverses. Well, suppose we have AB is in our supposed field. Well, if A is equal to 0, this is the equivalence class of 0 in S, and that doesn't need to have an inverse. So we can assume that A is not equal to 0. And if that's the case, then BA is going to be in S, and AB times BA is going to be AB, AB, which is going to be the equivalence class of 1, 1, which is our unity of that thing. So there we go. This thing is a field, but the other part we need to know is that this thing has a subring isomorphic to D. But that's fairly easy too. We can take a mapping phi from D into S just by phi of some element of dA is a comma 1. It doesn't take too much to show that this thing is both a homomorphism, it's going to be 1 to 1 onto its, well, onto its image, and it would be onto its image by definition. So we would have a homomorphism that's one to one and onto. This would be an isomorphism. And so, again, S itself is not isomorphic to D, but the subring, which is the image of this homomorphism, is isomorphic to D.